Hey, you went up, it's Don. Sam and Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Back up in here. How you guys doing? Yes, Soul sir. Squad. Um, Boost. What is it? Boosty. Why is it? They're little pellets that they mold into um, a midsole. And it's yeah. a cushioning system. Mm. Very soft like clouds. Mm. Energy return is what Adidas says mm -hmm. about it. And it is the hype. Everyone wants everyone wants boot. Everyone wants boost. And yeah. um You gotta have boost. You gotta have boost. And it looks like styrofoam kind of. And that's what everyone was saying a few years ago and everyone was making fun of it. But mm -hmm. now it's the shit. Um, so you guys are probably wondering what shoes can I get that I can feel boost in the most because boost is super comfortable and I can wear that all day. Because you know? there is shoes you can get, um, you know, obviously boost is pretty much proprietary to Adidas. Um, although I think Puma has um, the ability to use boost but with a different name. Yes. Something like that. Anyways, um, you're probably wondering why we even have this video you can feel boost right if it's in the shoe you can feel it not necessarily nope uh, there's plenty of shoes that have boost that is it, they put it in there real minimally um purposefully a lot of times because you know they want more response or it's a running shoe or it's a performer shoe or it's a basketball shoe a lot of times in basketball shoes you can't really feel it uh like the james harden volume one another shoe you can't really feel it in and you think you would is the nmds yes Right? Um, Horrible, you can't feel shit. Yeah. I mean, I feel a little bit in the heel. The forefoot is nothing. Yes, right? I mean, the R2 <laughs> is a little bit better, but still, no, mm -hmm. you know. But, um, so we're gonna break down some of the shoes that have the best boost experience, if you really really wanna experience boost. Should we start with the top dog? I mean, there's really, this is really a no list. Yes. But there is one that's, I think, the top dog, right? Yes. Um, so let's start with that. It's the um, EQT Boost. Um, God, I, it, it, what Nate? What is this? It's not an ADV. Ninety five seventeen support or something like that? EQT support. Yeah. What was the number? Ninety five seventeen. Uh, Ninety three seventeen. Ninety three seventeen. Here, too look. much shit, man. I don't even know. We got them right here, just in case you think we're lying. Uh, says it where? Oh, here, here. On the tongue, yeah. Oh yeah, ninety one seventeen. Ninety one seventeen. Okay, okay, look at this. This shit is crazy. Thick as I mean, boost. if you want to put a shoe on and just feel boost, it, 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 this is nuts. Yes. Right? It, it, it's just, it's almost too almost crazy. Too, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, the heel is crazy, and then the forefoot, you can definitely feel the compression, and it's super soft in the forefoot, too. So, um, EQT, um, and another good thing about it is, like, not a lot of people are wearing it. Yeah, not a lot of people have it. It's a dope looking shoe, super comfortable. Low key. It, it kind of feels like you shouldn't even leave the house, though. True. When I put those on, I feel like I should just stay in bed, <laughs> you know? But, yeah. um, so that's probably number one, but there's a bunch of other ones, too. Yeah, so, um, EQT is number one, but it, it's not, like, crazier, like, super duper above. I'd say the Yeezy and the Ultra Boost. Mm -hmm. You know, the Ultra Boost, you can definitely <clears throat> feel something in the forefoot, a little bit less than the EQTs, but you can definitely feel the boost in the forefoot and in the heel. Um, the heel, though, isn't super crazy, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like in the EQTs. But, um, yep, yeah, Ultra Boost, if you want to feel a lot of boost, uh, there's the Ultra Boost and the Yeezys, of course, you, you it's really hard to get. But um, it's caged, which is kind of weird, but you can still definitely feel boost and it's, it's super nice guys mm -hmm. you know so there's the Yeezys and if you guys want to get a little bit cheaper you know maybe like in the $120 range we have the Pure Boost ZG which is hella slept on nobody wears those but mm -hmm. um those are super comfortable too yes. very comfortable shoe yes. uh I mean you know it's up there it, yeah. it's up there as far as feeling the boost um yeah. up there close to the um to the ultra boost but yeah it's a little bit different of feel yeah um, I mean it's it, the the heel is not as much as the ultra boost but mm -hmm. you can feel it and then but the forefoot is pretty similar to the ultra boost yeah. I would say you can definitely feel it in the forefoot so oh, pure boost is ZG yep and then oh, we have the regular pure boost yeah um, the regular pure boost as in um, the new one that came out this year mm -hmm. and then the old one like uh, this one 
I'm losing track of Pure Boo's names. Yes. They got two, like 2M, 2017. Yeah. Uh, I'm losing track, but you know, all the Pure Boo's are, are pretty similar. Yeah. Nice thick heel. You can't feel the forefoot much. Nope. At all. But so. it's definitely way better than the NMDs, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, it is. You know, so uh, this is super comfortable, a really soft boost. Uh, the Peter Boost, uh, the regular one, you can feel it in the forefoot just a little bit, but definitely not as much as like the Ultra Boost or the mm -hmm. ZGs. And then the heel, I feel like uh, this one's better than the newer Peter Boost, but um, they're both good. So there's that. And then another shoe that I tried on uh, is the Iniki. How do you say it? Iniki, In uh, whatever the fuck it is. We'll leave a picture. And I tried it on a Foot Locker and it feels like this, but a little really? bit uh, softer. Mm. You know? So there's that. Um, so that's casually, and uh, moving on to the basketball shoes. Obviously, it's a little bit harder to feel them in basketball shoes because they're trying to keep responsiveness yes. and um, support, and so you don't want too much of an unstable cushion. But there are some shoes that do it and do it pretty well, uh, namely the D-Rose uh, silhouette. The 6 and the 7 both have very, very nice amounts of boost. You can feel it in the heel, a little bit in the forefoot. Um, and you still get a decent amount of response, but ton of impact protection. Yes. So that's cool. Another one is the Crazy Light Boost 2016, right? Yes. Um, and it's pretty much similar as the, the D Rose 6. D Rose 7, too, a little bit. Yeah. Kind of same feel. Heavy, heavy amount in the heel. Mm -hmm. Ton of impact protection for, for heel strikes, which is cool. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. The hardens, you can't really feel it. Crazy uh, explosives, you can't really feel it as much in the heel. Um, so yeah, that's the basketball section. So if you guys want to feel boost, get uh, one of these shoes. Um, of course, EGT is the best uh, and most comfortable. It might be a little bit too much for some people. Yeah. Uh, I feel like if you want to be just good and comfortable, but not too much, I'd say go for the Ultra Boost. Yeah, or Ultra the, Boost is yeah. cool. Or Yeezys, but you're not gonna. You can't really get Yeezys, and yeah. they're way overpriced. Yes. So you can get this around the same comfort with the Ultra Boost. And it's a great shoe. Or the ZGs. Or the ZG Prime, the Pure Boost are great too. Yes. Um, so that's it, hope we helped you guys out with this Boost video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. We do appreciate it. Soul Brothers, later. Peace.